Hello, 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 and welcome to everyone's cleaving. <laughs> uh, I fought like five, five cleavers in a row. <sighs> it's a little stressful, but I mean, hey, it oh, <laughs> six, six. Um, okay, so what are we doing here? Let's go ahead and do a little bit of. Uh, DJB and Apoc Robbie. It's not my typical cleave response team, um, but they could just be flashing Ran and going um, aggro with him and not using him as a cleaver necessarily. Well, we will have to see. So right now, I'm thinking they're probably cleaving. Bryce Syria is fine. We can go for... Uh, who can we go for? We can go for... Uh, Zahak. We can go for Zahak. Where are you, Zahak? Yeah, we can do uh, Zahak. We can do um. Who else would be fine here? I think we can honestly go. Um. Let's go design here a little bit. So they're going to go... Ervalin. Ervalin would be very interesting. They don't have any souls, importantly. So I'm not the most scared of them. Surin. Surin is also not scary. I still might just ban whoever they last pick. Interesting. So they're going to push back, I imagine, the Dilibet and ban the DJB. So what I can do is I can threaten Sage Ball. And I can... Get rid of you. Actually, I'll get rid of... Yeah, let's get rid of Bryceria. They have to ban the... The Sage Ball. They're going... Their Ran, I imagine, is going to go first. Again, they don't have any souls. So if Ran tries to... Um, debuff anyone, my Dilibet will cut. And he doesn't want that. Also, my DJB will probably also cut. So they'll probably just solo into Dilibet. Yep. And now the Sid's going to try to kill the Zahak, which is probably not going to work out for him. I don't have... Uh, I don't have um, damage mitigation. That's right. But if they defense break... They did defense break. Okay. This is going a little bit worse than how I'd like it to. They're going to push back the... Okay, that actually pushed her up. So, what I'm going to need to happen here... Is I'm going to need this Aravi to kill the... Okay, so I got outsped, <laughs> which is probably bad, because now we have to rely on, um, we have to rely on, well, that probably, <laughs> probably the worst outcome of that, actually, though, because <laughs> now they just get to kill 
Especially if they hit. <laughs> oh my god, that was the worst outcome. Oh my god, yeah, that was that was quite possibly the worst outcome that could have. They are an elf. Yeah, that was the worst outcome that could have happened. Was that I was hoping that I would counter, but I wouldn't kill it. <laughs> but I killed it. Oh, that is hilariously unfortunate. Um. Okay. <laughs> sure. Sure, sure, sure. Cleave, Cleave has to win every now and then. Oh, I can't believe. Also, the Sid freaking hitting. Ay, ay, ay. Because the... I don't think the... Um, the Ran would have debuffed anyone. That is so unbelievably unfortunate. I hate... Because normally against Cleave, I would... Okay, so they're going Jacko. So we're facing Cleave again. Because the first pick... Yep, there's Aiden. I I absolutely despise facing Aiden. Um, because they it's just... You have two units to pick. If you don't have last piece Karen. Because, of course, you don't. Uh, you have Zahak and you have Viseria. Those are the only two units that can consistently hit Aiden. Because otherwise, you're hoping that you can... I don't know. Hope against hope that you hit with Stene, but they're absolutely going um, uh, debuff central. So I'm just going to pick DJB and Arwell. And they're going to pick Zeo and Jacko, I imagine. Mm-hmm. There's Zeo. If they pick Sharky, that makes my life a lot easier because I can just slam Rowana. Hey, look, it's it's Zio and Jacko. What a what a surprising turn of events. Uh, yep. Let's go for Rimuru. Sage Ball. Uh, I'm not feeling great about this one. Not feeling great about it. They did ban Karina. Yep, there's that. So my last pick pretty much has to be Dilibet. There's not really anything to show for that. Yeah. Uh, this is so bad. I have to get rid of Aiden because I hate her. They're going to get rid of Sage Ball, which is fine. This gives me hope um, that they can, um, that they won't be able to kill someone. Because they might want to try to kill the Rimuru, and I don't think they're going to be able to do that. We will see how much uh, this. Um, I haven't seen C Dom in so long. Uh, she might be able to one shot someone. We'll have to see. Well, here we go. DGB will not be able to cut, unfortunately. They're going to try to debuff the Rimuru. They're going to debuff the Rimuru, I should say. Oh, well, that is very good. I do have ER on my, um, on my Rimuru, so that might just win me the game. Okay, they're going for it, but I'm going to go ahead, hit you a little bit, and then my Dilibet will cut. Um, they, th I think they have the S1 again. The fact that the, um, okay, they're going to stun Dilibet, but now they have to, they don't have soul burn. They can S3, but that's just going to give Dilibet another turn to, um, 
unstun because they definitely they definitely cannot kill Dilibet with a defense buff and no soul burn. And this will just have her cut even more. So I th think they're dead. Oh yeah, that definitely that definitely did not do it. And now my Dilibet cuts a second time. And Jacko is gone. And everyone is gone. <laughs> so that was that was an interesting one. We got the we got the um we got the cleave that I lost against. Uh, because I, I didn't draft mitigation. I probably should have gone DJB and, um, DJB and ROL, um, into the Aiden, but, or DJB and ROL into the Varan, because that would force them to try to use book, uh, because then if they, if they just went down the same line, and instead of a Ravi, I had, um, I had, what's her face? ROL. I think I win that game, um, but I went with a Ravi. Whatever. Uh, this one, these these Jacko, they're everywhere. Everyone is using Jacko. Um, like she's good. I don't blame them for using her, but oh my god, it's so boring. It's so boring. Um, the ones that integrate uh, Sharky in are equally funny to me. Uh, I fought. Tyler Colby, uh, twice in a row, unfortunately, and the, they they were doing the Zio um, Sharky ones. This one with Rowana. Uh, at this point, when I was doing this, I one wanted to see if their Zio could debuff my 270 effect resistant Sage Ball, and the answer to that was yes. So. That's fine. Sage Ball has to be killed here. He just has to die, um, which is understandable. But killing him also gives Jacko an extra turn. And my Karina obviously pushed up because someone died or went below 50% health. So now they have to try to kill someone, but they won't be able to because Sharklet will dual attack and Rowana will push everybody ahead. And now... Like, I don't have to push anybody, so I can just S1, or I could just try to blind everybody, or they quit. Um, don't let Rowana in if you're doing Sharklet. So, I used that information. I fought them immediately afterwards. I swapped out Sage Ball for Aiden, because if they're able to debuff my Sage Ball, I'm not going to bring Sage Ball again. Uh, they had the same draft, but this time they brought... Uh, they banned Rowana. I forgot to hit the button. Uh, so they're essentially in a similar position. They have to go for Dilibet here, or, um, they have to go for Dilibet. She does resist, which is phenomenal to me. Uh, <laughs> just because, uh, it doesn't push Jacko up. And now, Ran can either S1 or S, um, S3. Chooses to S1. Defense breaks the, um, the Dilibet. But my Karina does push ahead. And I don't know that they necessarily should have quit right here. But they were going to have a rough time against Aiden. But they did not know it was my Aiden. So they would have hit her immediately. Um, but even at this position, I... I don't know how they take down Karina, and Karina just slowly kills everybody. Um, so yeah, I've just been facing, like, <laughs> this one, this one, I can show this one as well. Uh, you're just getting a bunch of, th this turned from a, a regular video into a I'm showing you clips video. Um, this one, I think they knew my DJB was on Eternus, or they were wary that my DGB was on Eternus. Also, their name is Zuto Mayonezu, uh, so they just want more mayonnaise, uh, which I can appreciate, and I love their guild name as well, because spider lilies are one of my favorite flowers. So their pirate plan is, like, crazy fast, uh, but it does not have enough effectiveness, apparently, because DJB decided to resist twice, and then for the extra cherry on top, 
uh, my Aiden resisted, and then, uh, not that it would have mattered, because even if they got the target on Aiden, my DJV would have cut because of Eternus, uh, but it was just kind of fun, <laughs> funny to see, um, but this was a good, uh, well, I can't say it was a good match, because nothing really happened, literally, literally nothing happened, the, the, the Zeo didn't even S3, the Pirate Flan S1 twice and got nothing, uh, and then the, uh, Leica S2 and got nothing, so almost nothing happened in that fight, uh, but yeah, I've been fighting just a lot of, a lot of cleavy type things, that's not cleave, that's not cleave, that's not Cleve. I, I'm lying to you. I'm just lying to you. You don't have to believe me. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, hit the share button as well. Every time you do that, my voice gets a little bit deeper. Uh, so I do appreciate that. Even though you will never be able to get me as deep as possible. That really hurt. I should never do that ever again. Anyway, if you did not like the video... Uh, hit the like button and subscribe button anyway to show your contempt for me and creators everywhere. If you felt incredibly ambivalent about the whole thing, um, then I have no words for you. However, I do have tea and cookies, uh, so feel free to stop by uh, on your way home. I know it's out of the way, but sometimes if you really want something, you're willing to take those extra two minutes. I will not be compensating for gas cost, though, so take that into consideration.